Okay guys, so we're gonna be focusing this video a lot on building authority and the small SEO tricks that we can use in order to start telling Google that we are legit, we know what we're talking about, here's our evidence, here's our links. This takes a while, this is a long process, but it's a vital part of the process. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna make your user on your WordPress account, like follows. I'm gonna advise you also to make a Twitter account and also a Facebook, but I told you to make a Facebook in the last episode anyway. So yeah, just uh, make sure that you're always using the email that you, you, that you have that's associated to this account. Don't use any personal emails. Using personal emails is a mistake. Using personal Twitters is a mistake unless you're growing from your own kind of personal Facebook, if that makes sense, which is also fine. That's a good method. If you already have a following of some kind, you can always just use your personal Twitter, your personal Facebook. There's no problem with that. It's just I, I'm doing this from scratch and I like doing things from scratch. If you don't really have time to do everything for yourselves, then you can find someone who will do outreach for you. For example, there are SEO agencies like today's sponsor, Stan Ventures, who have this to say about backlinks. They matter, but it's a double-edged sword. If you don't choose your backlinks wisely, you'll end up in the bad books of Google, meaning you will get blacklisted. So when choosing backlinks, make sure you identify sites that have genuine organic traffic and they are relevant within your niche so that the backlinks will be contextual. One of the most arduous SEO tasks is identifying the sites that accept backlinks and making sure they are, are of high quality. Though this may seem easy for an outsider, the process is tiresome. I can vouch for that. For example, if you are a small business or a startup, it's impossible to have a dedicated resource to do manual outreach other than yourself. That's why it's good to find an agency such as Stan Ventures who will do it for you. Thank you, Stan Ventures, for sponsoring this video and check them out. So yeah, I made a Twitter, connected it to my hello at the cryptofile.me email address and you might be wondering what the hell this has got to do with SEO but if you don't know Google takes all of these links as kind of trust signals and people say oh they no follow links they don't pass trust but it's, it's a different thing it's showing that you've taken the time to make your Twitter to make your LinkedIn to make your you know whatever it might be and you've verified yourself on all of them and then some of those links do actually become follow links and yeah, they pass juice and they basically tell Google that you are a website that can be trusted because you know, you, you, you've you established yourself. If you're scamming or if you're not to be trusted, you're not gonna verify yourself on all of these websites basically. That's the logic behind it. You can see why the logic works. And they, another reason that I'm doing this is because you can add a author's bio so just write a little uh, bio there and the gravatar thing I, I sh I'll show you how to do it in a minute um, it was kind of confusing for me but yeah I worked it out in the end make sure that this is why I love ranked math make sure that your titles look good so for example my um, title was originally my work email instead of my hello at the crypto file dot me email which would have been an annoying mistake and I wouldn't have picked up um, on it if I wasn't using ranked math. So yeah, ranked math, definitely worth it. So yeah, this gravitar thing, it's not too complicated. You just have to follow the flow. So if you click just under the your profile picture where it says something to do with gravitar and then just make a new account, again, use your hello at whatever email address. And yeah, after that, all you have to do is upload a photo and then connect to your website. It's kind of confusing and I, I don't really like wordpress.com so it was kind of annoying that I had to make a wordpress.com account. Um, I don't really know a lot about wordpress.com but wordpress.org is open source and using open source um, naming and also code to make money, I, I never really liked that because it's open source. At the end of the day like if you're using it and you change it and you make it into something else then fine but if if you're just taking the code and calling it wordpress.com i don't even know where that came from and how they have permission etc but yep i always use this photo don't know why just i should have used my profile picture actually thinking about it but i think using a real picture establishes trust 
uh, not only in the readers, but also just in Google, maybe, but although they probably can't read it, to be honest with you. So yeah, that's Gravitas, and then just add your website. I don't even know if adding your website is necessary, but here's a tip. Every time you can add your website, add your website, because that is another signal for Google. Okay, so this is a very simple article that I wrote, and it literally took me five minutes, and it's a very simple explanation of how to ins install Node.js, which is needed for pretty much everything that you do in JavaScript nowadays. And the best thing is if you write it on Google Docs and then just copy and paste it, it just instantly pastes in. Look at that, it's beautiful. I will go through this again, guys, don't worry. Uh, this is not my guide on how to write. Uh, this is just me because I needed an example so that I could show you the author's bio and a lot more. Also, we're going to use the author's bio again, so make sure that you write a good one because we're going to use it on a few different websites, including Help a Reporter. So before I forget to actually show this, make sure that the author is the user that we created before, okay? Might seem obvious, I'm just trying to cover all my bases. Hey guys, so for this part of the tutorial, I'm actually gonna be using raw code, and it's really, really simple if you just do exactly what I say, okay? So go on Appearance, and then go on Theme File Editor, and then you wanna go to Page, because yeah, the blog posts that we have are on page, and I know this looks super, super complicated, but yours will say something like, let me just delete the code I've already added. So you wanna be looking, if you're with Astra, okay, if you're following my process step by step, then you should be with Astra. So where it says Astra Primary Content Bottom, or whatever it says, you just look for Content Bottom on your theme, and then I want you to press Enter twice, and then copy and paste this I will put this on a link on my website I guess or I can put it on crypto file yeah I'll just put it on crypto file that's fine I'll leave a link to it uh, on crypto file so that you guys can just find this and basically because I have put myself as the author of the post on the page and because I'm now adding this code when I press update file if I go onto the only blog post on the cryptofile.me slash dapps slash dependency for noobs slash how to install node.js and then if I scroll down uh, I need to delete this um, because I added this manually um, I'll do that now but as you can see this isn't perfect um, I would like there to be like my Facebook links and LinkedIn and Kiora etc etc but I'll have to find a work work around for that for now this will do I'm just gonna very quickly delete this block okay so edit how to install node.js and then let's get rid of this that was the first workaround that I came up with and then I came up with a better workaround now let us add the post onto dependency for noobs I should do this with short code uh, but I think for now I'm just just feeling a bit lazy, so I'm just gonna add it manually. So uh, if I just go down here, I should be able to just add uh, WordPress or blog. And then I have to get the link. And then if you just press embed, and there it is. Perfect, for now, that's just gonna have to do because I'm kind of feeling lazy. There is something else I have to do though. I now have to view this page. So down here, view page. There we go. This is looking nice, everything's according to plan, but I need to add uh, dependencies for noobs, so this page, to dApps, because that's how the whole system works. You can do this with code, I will explain how to do that in a video very, very soon, but I've decided I'm not gonna put a limit on the amount of videos. I was gonna make this a seven part series, but I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna do it everything step by step. I'm gonna grind it all out, show you guys exactly what I'm doing. Uh, I will show you how to write articles. I just wrote a very, very quick article for this video as an example. Okay, let's get into the point of this video. So go on Google, type in help a reporter, click on this result, so helperreporter.com. Uh, you wanna do I'm a source, or you can just press sign up here is actually probably better. So I'm gonna press sign up here. And then, yeah, do 
your email, your name, etc., etc. And then once you've made an account, you will get uh, this email here, which is to activate your account. Mine has already been activated, so let's go on here. And we should already be logged in. Let's log in. Okay, that was really weird. I've already made an account, so I don't know what the hell just happened. I don't. I really don't think this email is going to come through now. Oh, it did. So yeah, once that email comes through, this is perfect for me making a video, but it's really strange that it didn't work. Uh, yeah, click on update and add new information, and then just fill in all this, this information. The most important part of these, you need to tick the ones that are relevant to you, so the ones that are relevant for me are probably um, general high-tech business and finance, and I'm doing lifestyle and fitness just in case people sneak in some NFT projects or whatever it might be. Um, I'm going to put founder here just because it's, be, uh, it's good to be serious, and then fill in the rest of the information as normal. Okay, so I've just put that. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do my location just because I'm not bothered. And as usual, you always want to be putting your website wherever it will go. I already did this before, as you can see. I don't really. Maybe I pressed delete account there. Oh, maybe that's what happened. <laughs> oh, that's interesting, actually. Maybe that is what happened. Okay, so final step in this process. Thank you to hosting it for being absolutely amazing. Honestly, you guys have been incredible. I am so impressed with hosting it. Go to preferences on your hosting. I go to signatures and yeah, go and add a signature. I'm just gonna press edit on here because I've already done one. It's really, really easy to do. Just add a photo, make it smaller and then make sure that you wrap the text so that you can write to the right like this. And then I wrote a little a bit about me and then that's my email and that's the website here. This looks much more professional and when I press save on here, every time I write an email now, so I'll write an email to income stream surfer and I will, yes, write that and then I'll write that. I also, I put, uh, let me just quickly show you what I did actually just in case this is important. I don't know if it is or not, but I put, uh, I highlighted this and I did, uh, I, I haven't done it here, white text black background and then save and then okay it hasn't worked properly but I will change this and yeah this will appear at the bottom of every single one of your uh, helper reporter requests because the way that it works is you will receive emails directly into this email address and it will say email this email for example but it will be like a randomly generated email that's like Q3242974428 or whatever. And then you just send an email directly to that. So you your signature will actually appear. Okay, so it's really important. This is a really important part of the process. I don't know why it didn't work properly. That's kind of weird. Okay, I'm going to leave it there, guys. I've packed a lot of good stuff into this video, and this is the first time I've used the sponsor as well, so feel free to show them some love. But yeah, you can do everything yourselves. You know that that's part of my motto, guys. So I don't have an affiliate deal with them. I do. Uh, they offered me it. Uh, I just said no, even though it would have made no difference to me. So the links in the description are not affiliate links, okay? They're just links. They're UTM links. I know it says UTM, but they're not affiliate links. I have not set up an affiliate profile with them just because I didn't want to. Um, it's just a pure sponsorship. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon with some more of this content. Peace out.